Basero Diomaife is a prominent figure in Senegalese politics, known for his dedication to public service and fiscal responsibility. Before entering politics, Faye worked as a diligent tax inspector, gaining valuable experience in financial management and governance. Faye's campaign resonated the voters in the highly anticipated 2024 presidential election in Senegal. Emphasizing transparency, economic growth and social development, his platform garnered widespread support across various demographics, leading to a significant victory at the polls. Following a closely contested election process, Faye emerged victorious and he was declared president-elect of the Republic of Senegal on the day of his 44th birthday, on the 25th of March 2024. His inauguration marked the beginning of a new chapter in Senegalese politics, with expectation high for positive change and effective leadership under his administration. At age 44, he is Africa's youngest democratically elected leader. Basewo Diomaifei was born on the 25th of March 1980 in Senegal. He was also raised in Senegal where he received his formative education and upbringing under the loving guidance of his parents. After completing his undergraduate degree in the year 2000, he pursued higher education with a strong focus on law and administration. In the year 2004, Faye successfully obtained his master's degree in law from the reputable National School of Administration. After graduating from law school with distinction, Basiru Diomaife embarked on a professional journey as tax inspector at the reputable tax and estate company. During this time, Faye met Usman Sanko, a fellow ambition and driving individual with whom Faye formed a deep bond. Their shared commitment to social justice and reform led the groundwork for their future political collaboration. In the year 2014, Usman Sanko founded the political movement PASTEV, drawing inspiration from his vision for a more equitable and transparent Senegal. Basewo Diomaife eagerly joined PASTEV and quickly distinguished himself as a dedicated and passionate member. Faye would later become one of the ideologues and designers of Usman Sanko's program for his candidacy in the 2019 Senegalese presidential election. Usman Sanko gained almost 16% of the vote and came third. The cause of Faye's political career within the past step took a significant turn in February 2021 when Usman Sanko was arrested on charges of rape filed by one of the company's employees. In the wake of Usman Sanko's detention, Faye assumed the pivotal role of General Secretary of Pastef, steering the movement through a loud period with resilience and determination. In 2022, in the middle of mounting political tensions and fragmented opposition landscape, Faye demonstrated his astute leadership by spearheading efforts to unite desperate opposition factions under the banner of Liberate the People Alliance. Through skillful negotiation and strategic coalition building, Faye successfully secured 56 seats in the parliamentary elections, positioning himself as a formidable force in Senegalese politics. Meanwhile, within PASTEF, uncertainty loomed over Usman Sanko's political future, prompting the movement to rally behind Basewo Diomaife as their candidate for the highly anticipated 2024 presidential election. However, tragedy struck in 2023 when Faye was arrested on a litany of charges, including disseminating false information, contempt of court, and defaming a constituted body through his social media post. In this post, Faye denounced the perceived injustice within the judicial system, foreseeing a verdict that could potentially disqualify Usman Sankos from running in the 2024 presidential election. As the situation progressed, Additional charges of incitement to insurrection and undermining state security were brought upon him, resulting in an indefinite period of detention. At the same time, Usman Sanko faced separate allegations related to terrorism and threats to state security. The duo endured the hour in incarceration until their release. After doubt over the possibility of Usman Sanko being a candidate in the presidential election, PASTEF endorsed Basigo Diomaife as its candidate for the 2024 presidential election, despite he was in detention. 
On the 20th of January 2024, the Senegalese Constitutional Council published their final list of candidates for the presidential election, and Usman Sanko did not appear there after several legal battles. But Sihudio Maifei's candidacy was validated because he was never convicted, although remaining detained. Usman Sanko quickly announced his support for Basiu Diomaifei for the election. On the 28th of January 2024, Usman Sanko released a video on social media formally recognizing Basiu Diomaifei as his replacement in the election. After the incumbent president Miki Sal attempted in February to postpone the elections, citing unresolved disputes over who could run, widespread protest occurred and the Constitutional Council overturned the postponement. In response to the protest and overturn, incumbent President Miki Sal said he would leave office as scheduled on the 2nd of April 2024, setting the election date to be on the 24th of March 2024. Miki Sal also expressed his willingness to release Usman Sanko, Basiru Diomayifei and all their supporters as an act of good faith. As a result, hundreds of political prisoners were released by the government, and on the 14th of March, Usman Sako and Basiru Diomayifei were released from prison. Not discouraged by their ordeal, Usman Sako and Basiru Diomayifei wasted no time mobilizing their supporters and reviving their electoral campaign. On the 15th of March 2024, a day after they were released from prison, Basiru Diomayifei gathered hundreds of supporters at his first public appearance as a presidential contender. Basiru Diomayifei campaigned on creating jobs, fighting corruption, and vowing to re-examine energy contracts. Basiru Diomayifei wants to implement a monetary reform to finance the economy of Senegal, removing the CFA franc as the country's currency. He also vowed to fight French economic stranglehold over Senegal if elected. Basiru Diomayifei runs under the slogan, Diomai is Usman, hoping that Usman Sanko's charisma and popular appeal among Senegal's youth will boost his campaign. With widespread grassroots support, he secured his place on the presidential ballot, ready to contest on the 24th of March 2024. On election day, millions of Senegalese citizens exercised their democratic rights at the polls, casting their vote in a historic election. The following day, which was the day of his birthday, on the 25th of March 2024, Basiru Diomayifei emerged victorious as the newly elected president of the Republic of Senegal. The announcement of the election result triggered widespread celebration on the streets of Dakar. At age 44, he is the youngest democratically elected head of state in Africa, winning in the first round. Basiru Diomayifei, in addition to his significant political career, is known as a devoted family man and father. He maintains a polygamous household, being married to two wives.